Today I'm doing a tutorial on bruises. I'll be demonstrating the lifespan of a bruise with five different examples from a first day fresh bruise to an almost healed bruise. So let's get started. Bruises are pools of blood underneath the skin usually caused by blunt trauma. What happens, the capillaries underneath the skin will rupture and blood seeps out into the surrounding tissue forming bruises. Now, depending on the severity of the injury, the bruise is going to vary in appearance as well. The harder you hit, the worse your bruise will be. Um, skin tone and age of the person also factor into what the bruise will look like, so you need to keep that in mind when you're doing bruises. Um, bruises are going to be more prominent on lighter skin as well as on older skin. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Real Color Palette from Real Creations. These paints are sweat resistant and they have incredible lasting power because they are alcohol activated paints. Uh, grease paints will work also, but you're just gonna have to touch them up more often, and plus body heat will make them kind of melt, but the alcohol activated paints are awesome for this. So let's get started with a new fresh bruise, and in general, a new bruise is going to appear more red since the blood is pooled under the skin and it's really fresh. Um, to create the simulation, I'm using a texture sponge to apply a wash of red number two. And for this shape, I'm going for a more circular bruise. Make sure to base the shape of your bruise on the object that caused it. For instance, if it was the butt of a gun or, you know, a fist or a knuckle or something like that, you would make it the shape of that object. And then next to simulate the broken capillaries, I added a bit of blue number four and deep red number seven. It's just kind of a nice deep dark purple color. And I stippled it on there to get that kind of broken veiny texture. If you lose some of the red, you can always adjust it by adding more. As the bruise progresses, it begins to take on more blue tones. For this bruise, I started with a red base again and stippled on more purple in the center. As you'll notice, I kept some of the red patches to keep the idea of ruptured capillaries intact. And to help blend the red into the purple, you want to just use a little alcohol and kind of stipple it on. And that'll help diffuse any kind of rough patches. Throughout the healing process, the bruise will typically change color as the hemoglobin breaks down. Red, blue, purple, green, yellow, and golden brown tones are going to start to appear on the surface of the skin. And to replicate this, I started with a wash of yellow. Then you can see I stippled in some more colors using a deep red, a blue, and a green to get that kind of healing bruise effect. The bruise will also spread throughout the process of healing. As the body begins to absorb the blood, it begins to look more dispersed. So I went for this concept with the fourth bruise. I used more yellow and green to simulate the further breakdown of the hemoglobin. And I also added reds, purples, and blues. And I made sure to really diffuse it using alcohol with a sponge. The final bruise in this series is on its last legs, visually speaking. Um, I kept the opacity of the paint pretty thin and applied mainly yellows and greens. The other colors were kept very patchy and semi-transparent. As with all these bruises that I've shown, I added a light dusting of a skin tone powder to mimic the layer of skin over the colors. Gives it a more realistic effect, like the bruises really underneath your skin. Alright guys, that's it for this bruise tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying this series of FX makeup. Uh, make sure to thumbs up this video, and join me on Facebook and Twitter for more. Take care guys, bye!